Well, I finally found a place for my compressor to live and I took some old junk parts and made a cooling unit for it. Might be a little bit overkill, but uh, the cooler it stays, the longer it lasts is how I think about it anyway. And what I have here is, this is a heater coil out of a 96 Eldorado that uh, burst on me right there, a big long crack. So I remembered I had it and I uh, epoxied it up and uh, figured it'd make a good radiator for uh, my compressor. And this is just, I think it's three quarter inch heater hosing and um, it's tight enough to fit on there where I don't need clamps. I'm not running any pressure through this or anything like that. And to get it down to the um, 3 8 inch vinyl tubing, I had a fan base that was laying around and it was made out of uh, like half inch OD metal tubing. So I cut some pieces about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch long, maybe a little bit less. And heated up my tubing and slid them on in there. And that way it gives it something to bite down onto when I put these clamps on there. And in my bucket, I mixed um, uh, just one gallon of pre-mix antifreeze with you know, about four gallons of water. And the reason I did that was because if I just used water, you know, things are going to start to grow in here. And, you know, you could clog up your radiator. And to power it, I just mounted that on the wall. And when I turn it on, my fan, which is something that I harvested out of, it's down there, harvested out of a, um, an air hockey table that I found on the side of the road, uh, it'll come on and so will the pump. And the fan is pulling air through the heater coil and blowing it out the side the way it doesn't get any heat from the fan and now we've also got power going to our compressor so that's one way of doing it I'm, I hate throwing things away because as soon as I do I'll have a use for them those um, zip ties are off of um, heavy truck axles from a job that I used to do and I got tons of those things from that job alright well hope you enjoy guys later